My name is Brianne Martin. This is my bulletin board project for Early Childhood and Family Studies, TECA 1303. I chose to do my bulletin board on gun safety. I feel like it's something that not a lot of people necessarily know about or like to talk about, but it is something that is very important. Um, being that even if you don't have guns in your house, it's possible that your child's friends do. Um, so let's see if we can get this close enough. The first thing we have up here is scary statistics. And what I've put is injury and deaths. It says in 2002, 60 children ages 14 and under died from unintentional firearm related injuries. More than half of those children were between the ages of 10 and 14. Uh, and then non-powder gun related injuries from BB guns, pellet guns, etc., sent nearly 8,300 children to the hospital emergency rooms for treatment in 2003. Where and when? It says most unintentional firearm related deaths among children occur in or around the home, 50% at the home of the victim and 40% at the home of a friend or relative. Most unintentional firearm related deaths involve guns that were loaded and accessible and occur when the ch children play with the gun. Um, more than one half of firearm owners keep their firearms loaded and ready for use some of the time. And who? Approximately 3.3 million children in the U.S. live in households that are, at times, kept loaded and unlocked. Boys are more likely to suffer unintentional firearm injuries or die from unintentional shootings than girls. Nearly 80% of children ages 14 and under who die from unintentional shootings are boys. As many as 75 to 80% of first and second graders know where their parents' gun is kept. And that is from the Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh, their website, www.chp.edu. And if you come down here, what I found was this is called ASK, and it's a brochure that they that specifically they ask you to give out. And what ASK stands for is Asking Saves Kids Where Are the Guns Your Children Play With. It gives some more statistics. 40% of homes with children have a gun, and it says ask about guns before sending your child to someone else's home and tips to make asking easier. Ask with other questions. Include the question along with other things you might normally discuss before sending your child to, child to someone else's house, such as seatbelts, animals, or allergies. Use the facts. Over 40% of homes with children have a gun, and many of those guns are left unlocked and, un un unlocked and loaded. That's why you're asking the question. Just want to make sure that your child is safe. Work through the groups. Introduce the ASK concept through a group or community effort, such as your religious organization or PTA, or a bulletin board at school. Don't be confrontational. Present your concerns in a respectful manner. You are simply trying to make sure your child is playing in a safe environment. And over here, I have um, just some more statistics. It is estimated that guns are in more than one third of all U.S. households, and that differs from where you read it. So even if you don't have a gun in your home, it's possible there may be a gun in your a home your child visits. It is extremely important to talk to your children about gun safety and what to do if they come across a gun. If there is a gun in your house, it is important to keep it locked up, unloaded with the ammunition, locked away separately. Uh, non powder guns, such as BB guns, pellet guns, and paintball guns, are not regula regulated by the government but can, ca but can cause serious injury and death. The U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission recommends that kids age 16, age under 16, not use high velocity BB guns or pellet guns. Kids who have these kinds of guns or are likely to come into contact with them must know never to point them at anyone, including them themselves. And that's a good tip for even toy guns. They should not be pointing them at anyone. Uh, just, uh, it's not safe. You never know what's going to happen. Talking to your kids about guns. As with any safety lesson, explaining the rules and answering a question, child's questions help remove the mystery surrounding guns. Any rules set forth for you for your own child should also apply to friends who visit the home. This will help keep your child from being pressured into showing a gun to a friend. There is no particular age to talk to your child about gun safety. A good time to introduce this subject is the first time he or she shows an interest in firearms, even toy pistols or rifles. Talking openly and honestly about gun safety with your child is usually more effective than just ordering him or her to stay out of the gun closet and leaving it at that. Such statements may just stimulate a child's natural curiosity to investigate further. Curiosity killed the cat. Um, this is from the National Rifle Association, and their rules for what you need to tell a child if they find a gun are stop, don't touch, leave the area, and tell an adult. And then also throughout my bulletin board, I have different myths and the facts that surround them. This myth says to uh, toddlers can't pull the trigger of a gun. The fact is many guns do not require a lot of strength to pull the trigger, and toddlers can also push a trigger. 
Myth, kids can tell the difference between a toy gun and a real gun. Most adults can't even tell the difference between a real gun and a realistic uh, looking toy gun. And also I'll show you in just a minute, I have a bunch of different guns on here that uh, you really can't tell if they're real or fake. Um, toy guns often look like real guns, even to the police. Uh, myth, babies are safe from injuries. Infants are hurt or killed because they are in the area when a gun is fired. That includes when maybe a bigger brother or sister is just playing with a gun, thinks it's fake, and the, the baby can get injured also. Myth, non-powder firearms, BB guns, pellet guns, airsoft rifles, paintball guns are toys. Fact, between 1990 and 2000, the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission reported 39 deaths related to non-powder guns of which 32 were children younger than 15 years. Non-powder firearms have caused many serious injuries to children's eyes, hands, and faces. And then a little fact over here, it says, uh, nationally, 1.2 million elementary-aged latchkey children have access to guns. Um, okay, if I can get this close enough. I've labeled all these two because really and truthfully looking at them, you, you just can't tell what they are. This one's a little bit obvious because it does have the pellets, but that's hidden. It has a slide lock. It looks like a real gun. This is actually a pellet gun. And let's see. If I can get this one close. This one right here is actually a toy gun. Looks like a western style revolver. And this one right here, that's actually a pellet gun also. The only thing that makes it possibly not look like a real gun is the blue on it and then it also has an orange tip. But that's not necessarily a dead giveaway, especially when you're dealing with police. If uh, they come across an older teenage child playing with a pellet gun, they may mistake it for a real gun. This one right here, it, uh, it's hard to tell from this camera, but it actually has a, it's a revolver and it has a pink hand grip, and that is actually a real gun. We'll go to this one down here, kind of looks like a machine gun, and that is actually a pellet gun also. I guarantee you if a police officer comes into contact with somebody holding that, it, things could turn out badly. It also, again, has the orange tip, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. Um, this one right here looks like a real gun. It's actually a plastic toy gun. No orange tip on that one. And then this one right here, pink and black, kind of hard to tell again from the picture, but it's also a real gun. And the other thing that I included in my bulletin board is a little brochure pocket and it is facts about kids and guns and I put the child care center that I made and it has all the same information that's on my bulletin board that they can take with them possibly hand out to other parents if they're concerned about something like that